Black Girl Magic, Volume 1, The Yard Sale is a comic book story filled with magic, laughter, and fantasy adventures. This story is a fantastic way for viewers slash subscribers to learn character development, character arc, story structure, the character's superpowers and abilities, and lots more. Enjoy! Holly Mead, History It's so clean and perfect that it feels like an expensive movie set. Everyone drives the posted speed limit. There are no drugs or gang problems. Being anywhere i.e., work, parties, events on time is totally a must. Holly Mead's motto is. If it's not perfect then fix it. The younger crowd speaks hip while the older crowd speaks high class and proper. Overall, the city of Hollymead was filled with celebrity-type personalities, lots of money, and luxurious lifestyles. Car Ride to the Yard Sale Oh my gosh, I couldn't stop laughing, said Maura Crow. Read the text again, said Janet Mitchell. It reads. Yard Sale at Nonjabulo Brown, your new neighbor. Fantastic trinkets for sale. Serving sparkling apple cider, cucumber tea cakes, along with grilled cheese and sriracha sandwiches. See you this Saturday at 9 a.m. Hashtag smooches, said Harmony Thornhart with the biggest smile on her face. The ladies laughed as they pulled up to the stoplight. They looked over and noticed many others in cars as they too laughed. Everyone's heading to the yard sale, shouted Mora. In Hollymead of all places, said Janet. This is so unheard of, shouted Harmony. She's totally new here, said Mora. I even searched online to figure out what the heck is a yard sale, said Janet. Okay, said Harmony. Okay, so you just put all your old stuff outside on the front lawn so people can stop by and purchase, said Janet. Sounds like fun, said Mora. It's the biggest event in Hollymead, said Harmony. Again, all the ladies laughed and applauded. Nonjabulo Brown's vacation style house slash front lawn. Seriously, said Morat as she along with the other ladies gazed all around at the fancy cars parked up and down the street. It's who's who at the yard sale, said Janet. Now I'm happy we came to this said Harmony as the ladies got out of the car. It's only what you see out here that's for sale, said Nonjabulo as she gestured towards the front lawn. What about these asked a man as he exited Nonjabulo's house with two antique lamps in his hands? No, shouted Nonjabulo as she raced over towards the man. Whatever you want for it, I'll take it said a man as he happily cranked up Nonjabulo's fancy old car parked in the driveway. Out of the car, now shouted Nonjabulo as she motherly clapped her hand. We're not getting this said a young lady. It's only what's out here that she's selling you, said Janet. Oh, said the large crowd. I explained this ten times already shouted Nonjabulo. I don't think people really understand this, said Mora. It's self-explanatory, said Nonjabulo. Look at this, asked Harmony as she curiously picked up a book as if she was under a spell. The Sestorian whispered Nonjabulo as she curiously gazed at the book. Where on earth did you buy this, asked Janet. Attention! Bringing things to a yard sale isn't how this work either, shouted Nonjabulo as she held the book up towards the crowd. It doesn't even say anything, said Candace Keys as she and the large crowd curiously walked over. The front cover clearly reads this historian, and it was written by someone named Vormita, said Harmony. Dedicated to my magical sisters, no more in Neva, said Mora. For select eyes only. Vormita said Janet as she nicely handed the book to Candace. I see no text, pictures, nothing, said Candace as she flipped through the pages. What I'd like to know is how did it end up at my yard sale, asked Nonjabulo as she frantically gazed all around the crowd. You're really working yourself into a frenzy over this, said Mora. I don't feel so good, said Nonjabulo as she closed her eyes and grabbed her forehead. We got you, said Mora as she and Janet caught Nonjabulo as she fainted. The large crowd gasped. Let's get her inside, out of the sun," said Candace. Nonjabulo Brown's vacation style house slash living room. Here's some ice cold water," said Candace as she handed Nonjabulo a tall glass of ice water. "You're a wonderful neighbor," Candace said Nonjabulo as she sipped from the glass. "They're black as butterflies and they sting like bees. Muhammad creatures can protect you. 
Yet, they can devour trees, said Harmony as she and the ladies eagerly read the book. So, it's a magical book, whispered Candace as she quickly sent a text on her high-tech device. How much, asked Harmony as she held up the book. It isn't mine, to begin with, said Nonjabulo. We'll simply look after it until someone comes for it, said Janet. Such a wonderful yard sale, said Morat as she and the ladies quickly exited the house with the biggest smiles on their faces. Thanks for stopping by, said Nonjabulo. Nonjabulo Brown's vacation style house slash front lawn. Is the yard sale over asked a nice young man as the ladies rushed through the large crowd towards the car? It isn't over until 7 p.m., as advertised, said Nonjabulo. The excited crowd cheered and applauded as they joyously picked through fantastic items all over the front lawn. Did you laugh out loud a few times as you enjoyed Black Girl Magic, Volume 1, The Yard Sale? LOL. I can't wait to read your fantastic comments down in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the bell notification. Black Girl Magic, Volume 2. Coming soon. Thanks for watching.